Right, in this question, lines and points in space, um, they've asked us in this question to find the true length of this line segment AB. Um, and they've also asked us to find the true inclination of the line segment AB to the horizontal plane. All right, let's just have a look. Um, I've got two angles over here. We've got uh, this angle lambda over there, uh, and that is a true angle over there to the vertical plane. And I've got this angle theta over here, which is the true angle to the horizontal plane. All right, so it's moving away from the horizontal plane there, and it's moving away from the vertical plane in there. In this view over here, you can see that I've got a theta over there showing that I've got an angle to the horizontal plane. If you look at this, my horizontal plane, if I folded this thing over here, there's my horizontal plane, and my angle is going to the horizontal plane. But that angle that I'm seeing in this diagram is not a true angle. Why? Because I don't have a true length over here. So I need to be able to see a true length um, in order to get the true angle. Now, I can project in that direction to get a true length, and I can project in that direction to get a true length. But because they're asking you specifically to get a true angle of inclination to the horizontal um, plane, what we need to do is to project off this view over here in order to use the information of this view to get the true length. Let me show you how to do that. Um, there are different ways of doing it. The one is to use your set squares in order to get the, um, get the lines coming off here. I'm going to show you a bit of a juke method, but it does work very, very accurately. What you do is you disconnect your page from the, uh, from the board and you are going to take your line segment and line it up with the ruler. Just do that up here. There you go. That's all nicely lined up over there. You then take some masking tape and you just stick your drawing down to the board so that it can't move around. Stick it in two places. By doing that, what have I created? Well, I've created a way of drawing a line, an XY axis, which is now parallel to my line segment. And I can label that X, Y. Once I've got that, I can then take my set square and I know straight away that the lines coming off here are going to be at 90 degrees to my XY axis. If, I'm, if I've got lines coming off at 90 degrees to the XY axis, uh, it means that I'm looking at my line at 90 degrees. Okay, so I'm looking at this line at 90 degrees, which means that the view that I'm going to have on this side is going to be a true length. Where am I going to get the information in order to draw the, uh, the true length? Well, I'm going to use this view over here. I'm going to take that distance from the XY axis to B. I find B2 over there. I come down to the new XY axis and I mark off a B, you can call it B3, or you could label it as a very big, bold, capital letter B. I'm going to take my next measurement from the XY axis to A over there. I find A1 over there. I come down to the new XY axis, and I mark off that measurement to A, and we're going to call that A3 over there. This length over here is going to be a true length. That over there is a true length. I'm going to call it TL. In other words, if I measure that, I'll know exactly what length of line I'm actually dealing with. And over here, I've also got an angle. If I draw that out there, and I draw this out over there, I will end up with my angle in there. That angle over there is the true angle of inclination. What I need to do is to measure that. Um, what I'm going to do quickly is to just draw another little line coming off here. Just a construction line going out there. I'm going to increase the length of my line over here. Let me just do, a, do it with a pencil over there. There we go. So you can see the true angle of inclination. Note that angle over there. It's the same as that angle over there. And I can now take my protractor. I'm going to place my 
zero point of the protractor over there. I'm going to just zoom in so that you guys can see where I'm aiming this thing. There we go, there it is. The zero of the protractor is against that angle that I'm measuring, and I measure up over here until I get to the angle. Um, let's have a look, it goes uh, 10, 20, 30, uh, sorry, let's just do, do that again. It's very difficult with this protractor. So it's 10, and you've got 15, 16, 17 degrees over there. 17 degrees, and I can write that in over here. 17 degrees for my true angle of inclination. Right, um, that's basically it.